Quetico Provincial Park in Ontario. We're gonna do a six day canoe trip. We're gonna do the epic Cache Lake portages. So uh, our first day is going up the Baptism Creek, which is normally a pretty lazy creek, but we're going up river and the water is really, really, really high right now. So I'm um, not sure how that's gonna go. Tomorrow's the big day where we're gonna do the Cache Lake portages. It's a three and a half kilometer slog into Cache Lake um, and then we'll canoe across the lake and do another three kilometer slog through a swamp um, to get to the other side of it. Um, after that we got a few big lakes to travel on. Um, we might have to do a detour uh, from some areas just because the water is so high. Um, there's some waterfalls that are going to be rocking. Um, so yeah, things are going to be muddy. But uh, not gonna lie, a little nervous about how the how high the water is. Things are gonna get wet, but uh, overall, looking forward to having a really good trip. Totally looking forward to it, man. We've been driving for too long, and happy to be here, and happy to get rolling. Yeah, we uh, left Winnipeg yesterday after work, drove four hours to Dryden, stayed with my uh, uncle Jimmy and auntie Sheila, and uh, then did another two and a half hours of swimming. So. We'll double back and get the wind at our tail. Yeah. So we're not getting it on our side. The last thing we need is to dump on our first day. So we made it to the river, French River, but it's just so flooded, we're having trouble knowing exactly where to go. It feels like we're paddling on what should be shore with all these trees and bushes around. And we're just having trouble. There's not much of a creek to follow. We're uh, still on the French River, and there's a bridge which our trip notes mention. But the trip notes don't account for how high the water is, or is that a tree that's like down, like blocking the way? Blocking the way entirely? Can the canoe get under? I don't even know if the canoe can get under. Oh, I was gonna say if we can climb up on that. Okay. Oh, just barely fits. My GoPro caught it because I think it may have died. But trying to put the uh, canoe in here, and it's a bit of a cliff, and it's not the greatest landing. And I've uh, went belly you button, waist, waist in, belly button deep yeah. into the water. It's refreshing. It's nice. So whatever. We were expecting it to get wet. I just didn't think we'd get this wet this quick. But no. Oh well. Slow going, but we're almost at the first portage, and we're gonna stomp and have some food. Oh boy. Can we go through this? Yeah. I think we probably can try. I think we can probably get through here. You wanna just try it and Yeah, why not? We gotta turn back and turn back. What do we gotta lose, right? It's not much of a rapid, so I feel like we can up and over it. Oh I think we can get over it. I just wanna make sure that we're ready so that it doesn't go sideways and tip or something. Oh yeah. Do you see anywhere that we can just get out? Not really. 
This is why you're supposed to get out at the actual portage way back there. Like, I'm down to give her a try. I'm or my feet are already wet, so like. Yeah, I think my feet are gonna have to be wet. Like I'm gonna have to get out of the canoe, stand in it, and hoist it up. Yeah. Just Jumped in the water to push the canoe a little bit. Yeah. And now Rich is gonna help us get it over. You can just push it to me. I'll pull it up. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Are you ready? And you pull it up and I'll push her. Yeah. You pull and I'll push. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Right here too. Good. Good. Yeah. Hold on, it's too deep here. I can't get in. Okay. Can you, I'm going to shove you. Okay. And then you hold on to that tree. Okay. Ready? Yep. And then I'll make it over there. beaver dam and we're gonna try to see if we can kind of do something similar. Shove them and you pull, you, oh, you paddle like mad, okay? okay. On three. One, two, three. Paddle, paddle, paddle. All right. Whew. Getting tired. Yeah. All right, we're uh, on one of the portages. We just uh, portaged the barrel and the bag, and now we're doing our second one. It's uh, about a half a kilometer. It's muddy. You all right there, Rich? Yep. And uh, it gets to a spot where there was a dead end and we had to well, basically wade across a lake. So uh, it's uh, definitely a bit of a slog, but we're gonna have to do this again tomorrow. Just only much longer, so we'll make it work. Okay, we've made it past the slog that's Baptism Creek and uh, are now in Baptism Lake. It's about 6.40, past 6.30. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. <laughs> it's late, but uh, it's a beautiful evening, thank goodness, and it uh, feels really good to be on the lake. It was a tough slog, but now we're here. We've probably got another maybe hour of paddling until we get to our campsite, but 
At least we're not doing a windy creek. Yeah.